Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch this video. This is Alan with Mastermind Handyman. And on today's video, guys, um, we're going to be doing some tile repair and replacement here at this pool. And you're going to see that I have some areas where I have to put new tile. And we're going to be using this ceramic, glassy, blue looking tile. There's another area here uh, by the pool that I'm also going to be working on and we're going to do the same thing. So for example, you're going to see that this one is cracked, uh, definitely needs to come off completely. So I'm going to be showing you also how to take them off. And on the spots where we don't have any tiles because they fell off, then we're going to be uh, adding new ones. Now you can see in this example too, how this tile here has a crack. And so we're gonna be breaking those off as well and installing new ones. So if you're interested guys on how I do this, uh, we're gonna uh, cover mixing your thing set. We're gonna also cover taking those tiles off. We're gonna cover applying your thing set, installing your new tiles and so on. So if you're interested, keep watching this video okay guys before we get started let's go over some of the different uh, tools that you're gonna need so for example what I have here is a uh, sponge and the sponge we're gonna use to basically wipe down the tile once we're done with the grouting really helps uh, create that clean look once we're done Next, we're going to need a hammer. Um, I like to personally use this rubbery hammer because uh, as we're breaking those tiles up, I like to use this flat screwdriver and, you know, basically hit it to the corners and slowly crack it before I jump into my next tool, which is the chisel. So I have two different kinds here. One is a little heavy and thick. The other one is a lot thinner right on the on the tip so that helps and I'll show you how I go about using them also we're gonna need some tile spacers uh, to keep the tiles uh, spaced from each other and then we have our trowel which here I have two of them one that I'm gonna use to lay down my uh, grout and thin set and this one I'm gonna use to apply the thin set on the surface and also on the tile and then the last thing that I'm also going to be using here is a drill here with the mixer tip as you can see and then a bucket where where I'm going to be mixing my thing set um, just for reference I mean there's so many options but I'm personally going to be using the speed thing set from custom which is great and then also I have um, this poly blend uh, grout send it grout I chose the white color one uh, to basically seal in and finish up the tile work when I'm done and I'll walk you through everything so that you can see okay guys so in this example I'm going to begin by basically prepping this area first now as mentioned they're all going to be different in this spot here the tile fell off uh, whoever did this before didn't really use the correct uh, thing set or grout properly uh, where eventually as it got wet it came off it's even a little soft uh, as you can see here which is not good so first things first we want to go ahead and prep our area and so using your hammer and your chisel tool we want to basically just hit it as much as you can and the key here is is to create a flat clean surface where you're going to be working on as you can see it's full of that thick um, whatever that previous thing set was um, we want to remove all of that and only leave it where is just the surface and I'll show you in just a moment once I'm done doing that 
Okay guys, so as you can see, this is a great example of what it should look like. It's cleaned up, um, ready, right, to apply uh, our thing set in tile. And you can see here that I was able to pick up some of that old, um, you know, whatever was on there really. Another thing you can do in, in this example, uh, if you look at the tile, how it has that existing um, thing set, whatever was on it. Uh, previously you can use the chisel uh, again to to basically clean all that out of there to make it flat and clean again so that we can reuse that tile of course you don't want to put it back like that so in this area here in this example uh, this is what you would do you would clean up your surface chisel it out make sure it's flat and ready clean your tiles and then we'll get to that in just a moment so this is a great example guys of what the tile should look like once you're done cleaning it. Make sure that you remove all that stuff out of it and it needs to look like this. Okay so when working on another spot we're going to do the same thing especially on the spots where the tile has come off. What you want to do is what we just did which is to basically prepare your area. You're going to see in this example here how there is some of that existing application here where it doesn't have that straight line. So you would definitely want to clean this very good. And the same thing with here, you can see that there's some excessive amount here and then there's this gap deep inside, you know, into the uh, concrete. Okay guys, so let me show you what it's going to look like once you get it ready. Um, you have cleaned it out. You flatten it out, right? Um, and just as a tip, something to keep in mind, when you're needing to break through the concrete, uh, you definitely want to use this tool um, because this chisel is um, going to be more sturdy to hit it with the actual hammer. Uh, the other chisel is more for like just, you know, flatten it out once you're done breaking the concrete so that you can just create a flat surface. Now, Remember when I talked about creating this line here flat from one side to the other, you can see how now it has a deep um, layer here where I can, you know, lay down the tile with the new things. And you can see how I was able to break the concrete to create a, a flat uh, surface. So that is uh, great. I think it's, it's an area that we can certainly uh, apply our new thing set and install the tile okay guys so now in areas where we will need to take out the tile different from the other spot where we were just at um, on here we're going to need to break the tile you're going to notice how there's the grout in between the tiles now of course when you look at these tiles here the only ones that I really need to replace is this one and this one however this one in the middle has a little bit of a crack there so it's really up to you should you replace all these three tiles make it easier so you have an open work area I do recommend that now however if the middle tile was not cracked uh, as you can see here you can't really tell that it's broken then um, I would just basically break in the tile itself out of the way keeping the one in the middle so, but in this example, I do have three tiles already. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break all that out. Okay, so basically the technique here is in this example, I use the uh, flat tool here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically just hit it right in the middle like that slowly all down just slowly on the grout that's in between now the fact that I'm going to replace this three I'm only going to do that starting right here down slowly right where you create small cuts and that will help it basically separate from the one that you're keeping and then just do the same thing on the other end here just down and I'm going to show you in a moment once I'm done and then once you do that with your chisel you basically just 
hit it and break it and once you do that then you just keep hitting it until you slowly but surely create that, that flat surface I'm gonna show you uh, what the cuts look like with the flat screwdriver all right so let me show you a great example guys what I mean when you start to break it in you're gonna see how I was able to break it in nicely right in the middle there now keep in mind that you want to position it and hit it closer to the tire that you're breaking not closer to this tile so there you have it guys you hit it slowly break it slowly and prepare your surface basically so that's what it should look like I mean you can go a little deeper by breaking the concrete a little bit more however as long as you have your line your mark right down there and it's flat and it gives you enough room to apply your thing set should be good to go okay guys so I'm over here working on another area of the pool and as you can see on this spot here uh, whoever did the tire repair work before they applied the thin set or whatever that was that they used uh, in a flat one big spot type uh, application it's really not recommended to do that you know yes it's going to stick it's going to dry it's not going to fall but eventually it weakens out okay guys so now that we have uh, cleaned out and flattened out and gotten all our surfaces ready to go the next thing that we're going to do here is get our thing set ready and so the first thing you want to do is mix it now the way I always like to do this is to put just enough water to where it's consistent it's thick but it's also soft um, enough to where you can lay it down right on the surface and on the tile you don't want to be too hard you don't want to be too soft either so my goal in this example I'm going to use half of this bag I think should be enough uh, for the amount of tiles I'm doing I'm working with about 30 tiles and so I think that should be sufficient however considering that this is a speed set product it dries within two hours so you don't want to mix it all in and then run out of time and waste your thin set mix so what I recommend you do is do small amounts at a time and work your way through your project in my example I'm going to mix half of this and then if I need more obviously we redo the same thing so as mentioned before get yourself a mixer stick with the drill works so easily it's great than having to do it by hand and then of course your thing say your tile uh, mix and the mixing is just like concrete guys as mentioned consistent thick and soft all at the same time and just enough water to be able to mix it so I'm gonna show you once I put it all in there what it's gonna look like and then we're gonna start mixing it together so there you have it guys you know it's very consistent It's mixed in nicely to where you start to see that thickness um, you know it, it blended in nicely with the water and of course it's soft enough at the same time so that it should be perfect you know hit it a few more times you're gonna notice when you first started how soft it was as, as you rotated it um, and as you were mixing it you know it was very soft and, and easy to do this but now it gets harder and harder so that's when you know the consistency is perfect okay guys so here we're gonna be uh, laying down our tile so I wanted to mention something really quick when you're um, laying down your thing set it's not recommended to lay it down flat like that on the surface uh, or on the tile instead using your trowel what you want to do is create that line because when you use the the, the gaps that the trowel offers it allows it to air and dry so that's what you want to do so for example you want to go ahead and go like this see what I did there and then you want to do the same thing on the back of the tile ok 
Okay guys, so I'm going to show you now once you um, have laid out your tile with the thing set, right? You're going to see basically we put those uh, spacers in between. Uh, forget the uh, smirch on there, you know, that dry concrete dirt on it. Um, what you want to do now is um, this particular application that I'm using within three minutes, I'm able to remove the spacers and then with the sponge, you know, lightly wet, not too wet, then wipe it and slowly it removes all that. But, you know, some applications you might need to wait a little extra before you remove the spacers. So that's what one looks like. Now in this other example here, you can see that I removed the spacers and I was able to wipe it down already. However, we still got the grouting to do in between the tiles, but as you can see, it looks nice and it's even. So um, within two hours using these uh, things that I'm using, um, I'm able to grout it. So just another hour. Now check out this other spot here guys, uh, remember we did uh, I believe like four of them over here and you can still see that I was able to also wipe this one with the sponge and um, got away about another hour or two and then I can grout it in but as you can see they're even and then I removed the spacers on uh, that were between the tiles. Now if you look throughout the other tiles next to it, it blends in nicely, they're even and you know when, when you're removing your tiles you know sometimes this might happen I mean it's, it's normal just try your best not to but I mean there's nothing you can do if that came off when you were chiseling it off so but there you have it basically you know another example here another spot at the pool of what it starts to look like and then our last step would be to grout it in now check out this spot here uh, this area compared to the one I just showed you is different. I just recently did this, so I need to wait about two hours on this spot here, but you can see how the spacers help it keep that space, right, between the tile. And they're not all going to be perfect. You'll notice that sometimes you need to use it like this, and sometimes you might need to use it like that. As long as you give it enough space, when you grout it, you can see the line in between. That should be enough for it to look the same throughout and so the same thing with this one uh it's actually now time to remove the spacers and wipe it clean so that the thing set does not dry on there and then just wait the two hours and grout it all right guys so here's the last spot that i did um around the pool this one i did about uh one two three four five six tiles in case you wonder guys, okay, it's time to use the sponge. How do I do this? Very easy, wet it just enough, squeeze all the water out of it. As you can see, it's not dripping right, but it's wet enough. Then go ahead and remove your spacers from the tile. Slowly, because sometimes you, you put those spacers very tight in there, but just slowly. And the reason you want to remove the spacers, of course, is because you can wipe it with it in the way right so once you've done that then you just heat it nicely as you can see it starts to clean that up see how it goes away and then just kind of hit it on the edge there so that all that goes away with it you don't want to leave that you know splash of uh things set on on the top surface you see just blend it in continue on do the same thing look look over here as well right just kind of run it and then you just slowly wipe it right just do it very gently and rub it on there until it removes whatever you want to come out as you can see in this example I'm rubbing it just a few extra times see just to soften that out see that you get the point just hit it 
rotate it nicely and then compared to when I showed you when the spacers were there look at it now and of course once you're done doing all the grouting and you're done pretty much and you're gonna do the same thing uh, when you have the grout on there and you're done with the grout as you finish up your grouting you're gonna wipe it with your sponge and then just let it dry uh, but of course the last thing here is to clean around your work area you don't want to leave it dirty like that okay guys so last thing to do here is get the grout ready the tiles are dry they're ready to go and so uh, I'm gonna be using a powder based ra uh, grout and then I'm mixing it in similar uh, as we did with the uh, thing set however grouts are a little different on timing and mixing so what we want to do is put enough powder in there uh, and water to where you think it's consistent just mix it in we want to mix it in for at least five minutes and once we mix it in for five minutes we then want to let it sit for 10 minutes at that point we're going to remix it to where we get it soft enough um, and dry enough but again not too dry that way it's, it's thick and so um, and then we're going to jump into grouting our tiles okay guys so as you can see uh, this is what it's going to look like when you apply your grout um, of course it's, it's dirty um, so we still need to wipe it down with the sponge but the, the key to this method guys is to fill in the gaps right the space in between the tile and I like to you know apply just enough to where it's not just closing it but it's also making it go deep inside in between the tiles and then of course you spread it left to right as you can see it just creates that flat even um, line right filled uh, between the tiles as you can see then they're, they're not excessive um, of course the last step here I'm gonna go and run this sponge and you might want to wait about five minutes so that it hardens and then go ahead and um, once you feel that it's hot enough it's dried enough five to ten minutes is recommended then you can go ahead and run your sponge I'll show you in just a moment same idea uh, with this spot here as you can see I was able to apply the grout it obviously needs to uh, be clean and there's two steps on how you want to do your cleaning the first one is within five to ten minutes of you applying your grout go ahead and run your sponge just to remove all that excessive amount and then wait about another 10 to 20 minutes to then just kind of wipe it with a uh, wet cloth just to remove the you know the small residue that's left from the grout let's check out this spot right here by the uh, stairs you know the ladder uh, by the pool same thing now this is the one spot where um, I had a little broken uh, you know over here where the uh, this surface is the wall you know so I filled it in a bit with the grout just to fill it in and once it dries I mean it should be good enough instead of just being open so as you can see you know just fill in the gaps so there you have it guys how to replace repair your pool tiles um, and so I mean it's a little bit of work I think it's there's a lot of steps uh, involved with it but if you take your time if you time it right you can get it done yourself and save you a lot of money as always give it a thumbs up if you like this video share it post your comments if you have any you're trying to get started on a project don't hesitate to reach out um, all those who do from YouTube will get a discount on any service and as always do not forget to subscribe and look forward to our next video thanks so much for watching